good news for all ridings in Ontario. And uh, uh, when I first got elected, uh, I saw the split, which was 90-10 for fundraising. And I said it was, uh, you know, disgusting. And uh, a few of our members, including Michael, said enough is enough. To date, Michael hasn't uh, raised a cent because of the split. Uh, and I said, I'm not raising any money and giving any money to the party, but my people will not keep giving money that walks out of our community in Hamilton East 23 and ends up somewhere else and hiring more people in Toronto. That's not happening anymore. Uh, the good news is, uh, I, uh, I personally was, I, I kind of got lucky because I pressed really hard and I cut a deal with the provincial secretary that uh, uh, any fundraising I do in Stony Creek Hamilton East is 60-40 now, 60 for us. 40 for the party, and uh, rumor has it that that's going to be talked on this weekend coming up at the Provincial Council, and uh, and they may even announce that it's going to be 70-30 for starting uh, for, uh, before the writ drops and after the writ drops, and Michael fought hard for that too, and uh, we put, dug our feet in, so I'm glad to say that uh, from now on, you're going to get your uh, share that you're going to be able to run your riding association with some decent money and we can put up decent fights in all 107 ridings. The HST aside in terms of the hydro bill, I heard, and I think it was the energy minister speaking on CBC, it might have been yesterday or the day before, saying that the reason the hydro bill was going up is because Ontario has made a difficult decision to uh, turn away from, from coal and adopt a, a green energy plan. So it, it, it's hard for somebody like me not to say, well, good, and maybe it does cost more. So I suspect I'm going to have uh, people ask that question or make a statement. How do we as New Democrats uh, counter that? Or um, is that a time when you say, well, that's a good plan? <coughs> Well, the, liber the Liberals have, 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 have been pushing their green plan and, 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 and claiming that uh, that uh, it's, it's a good thing, you know, solar uh, and, uh, of course, windmills. Well, I'm, I'm an environmentalist. I come from a family environmentalist. My, my, uh, my uncle was the head of the Conservation Authority in Hamilton. So uh, we're, we're environmentalists too. But then again, you have to be realistic. While you're achieving your goals, you don't raise hydro 46% in five years on the backs of working people in this province. You don't sign, um, I don't know how many money, how much money was it with Samsung, Michael? Seven billion dollars. Seven billion dollar deal with Samsung offshore, Korea. Yeah, that's to, this, these are the, the, but these costs are being passed on to you, the, the taxpayer of Ontario. So if you're going to sign deals, why wouldn't you sign deals and manufacture the stuff in Ontario where the money stays in Ontario, creates jobs in Ontario, builds our economy. I mean, you wouldn't feel half as bad if you knew that money was going to stay here and it's going to put our kids to work. And, and these are the types of things you could, you, you certainly aren't going to live with 46%. It's brutal. I mean, I, I have people, not only can people come, I have seniors coming in, they can't, have, they have to pay their hydro bill before they eat. They can't afford their apartments. They can't afford their, they're losing their homes. They have to go into their savings just to make ends meet. This has been going on for years. This is absolutely unacceptable. Where's the money going to come from, you say? Well, I'll tell you, when we did the e-health scandal, we helped break it, Michael and the rest of us, they, we found out that the Ontario government, for their liberal-friendly consultants, were spending $1.5 million a day on e-health. And, and they did the electronic cards they want to create for Ontario, electric health cards. It was $388 million they spent in four years creating those health cards. So when I went to committee with Franz Jelena, the health uh, critic, and we asked, what did we get in hardware, software, administration, and organizational uh, attributes for this $388 million? What was the value? Put a number on it. Well, they ran away. They couldn't give me a number, and they stalled. They stalled. And I finally got them to come back, and I confronted them again. They said, Mr. Miller, we got $100 million worth of uh, for our dollar. I said, well, what happened to the other $288 million? Well, it went to consultants. 66% of the money went to consultants, liberal friendly consultants. That's one ministry. There are 22 ministries. And also the province of Ontario 
administers indirectly or directly another 195 to 200 agencies. Small, big, mediocre, schools, hospitals, you name it. So I don't even want to begin to think how much money they've blown in the last seven years. Literally billions of dollars. Want to know how your hydro bill would go down? You know how we create jobs in Ontario? Maybe the misuse of funds, of public funds, has to be looked in a lot deeper. And as this year progresses, you're going to see more and more things come out on Liberals' waste, spending, and corporate-friendly people that they've been giving money to. It's going to stop.